five, four, three, two, go for it. Hi, you guys. Ginger Cook here. It's Acrylic Painting Monday, but with a twist, because we're going to combine acrylic paint with uh, absorbent ground and ink tent pencils and show you a whole other way to paint something. And I'm going to explain why you might want to do that. And if you don't have any ink tent pencils, we're going to show you how to make the same painting. Even if you didn't have those, you can still pull that off. But you're going to need some absorbent grounds. And we'll explain what that is, too. So um, we want to thank everybody for coming. I'm going to just get right into our our fabulous t tutorial. And uh, and as I do that, we'll, we'll give a shout out to our moderators who are here. And John will let us know, uh, John Little. And we're... We're going to tell you about our crazy <laughs> week where all our computers and cameras died at once. And, um, and you'll feel all sad, right? I know. I know. And we had to borrow equipment from my son-in-law, Cinnamon's, uh, the Art Sherpa, who, you know, fortunately they have lots of stuff. And they loaned us something until we could get something in, which takes everything's on back order. So it's, it's, it's been a bit more of a challenge. You're going to see fewer cameras this time. We're, we, we feel lucky to show you the palette and the, and the table, right? Occasionally. That's, and we're, we barely have that going. <laughs> so so bear with us because um, that question is going to come up. Well, where's the blah, blah, blah? You know, well, it's just, boy. There's no blah, blah, you know, blah. Please send $7,000 and we'd be happy to make sure all of that stuff's there. We'll bring blah, blah, blah back. <laughs> we'll bring blah, blah, blah back. But in the meantime, we're just going to kind of deal with what we've got now and I think we're going to have a really good painting, and I haven't painted it before, but I have a good idea in my mind what I'm going to do, and that's the key, right? In my mind, I know what we're going to do, and I have a reference, and uh, we're perfect. And here we go again. All right, so down here on the table, are we back on the table now? I can't we are, tell. We have scooted to the table, my queenness. Okay, now my little thing is out of focus. Let me see if I can get that I had camera. it focused two seconds ago. Yeah, yeah well, that's that was two okay. So ago. you'll notice I have a color wheel. Just because this is a white canvas and it looks kind of dull. This is something called absorbent ground. It's made by Golden. And why would you want it? Well, absorbent ground changes an ordinary canvas, stretch canvas or canvas board, into something equivalent to reacting like you would paper. For instance, here's a piece of watercolor paper right here. And absorbent ground will act very much, it will wick. You know, just like if you ever had a, a white blouse and spilled a little coffee on it and just starts, the stain starts spreading, I have to that's say, no, what I have absorbent it. ground will do. Now, last week we showed you white how, to, how to take an ordinary canvas that didn't have any of that, and we were able to get a, a wicking effect even without it. You remember? So if you want to know how that works, go back to last week and look at our our rainbow rows because I show you how to do that but sometimes it's fun to see you know there's a lot of equipment out there a lot of different ways to do things and I think it's nice to just sort of expand and this is the kind of art where you can really let yourself go and experiment don't overdo it less is more all right and I, I, uh, since you and I spoke last uh, we had a uh, uh, you know, I had all my, I had my pencils in a box, and I thought that the upper tray was kind of flimsy, and then someone said, well, you can put it in the lid. I, I could have done that, but this is how I'm traveling with these, and this is a case, um, holds also 72 pencils, and then on the other side of this case, which is cool, which is just, just a little bit more organized, can just, obviously things are falling over. All right, there's some just regular colored pencils. There's some Posca pens. There's some of the water pens here that uh, we've got here. Maybe we'll take out one of those. And um, my white chalk that I like to, to draw with. Stuff like that. So that's where this is. And that's that. Uh, so we thought that was uh, a nifty case. I bought one for John, too, because he ordered a set of these pencils. It's just nice to have to be organized. And I, it's just saying, where did I get this? I got this on Amazon. We didn't bother to put it in my store. Not yet. Uh, it's called. <laughs> it's been a week. It's called Paint Your Colors, Believe in Yourself. Um, and the thing of it is, is that, oh, I wrote pencils here. So I'd know which side was the pencils. Wasn't that clever? <laughs> So I'm going What's to put, on the other side? I'm going to put the golden absorbent ground out of the way. Have a, tw I don't know why John got very carried away with this and decided to give you a giant canvas board. This is the Proton, the best. This isn't cardboard. This is real masonite with the all-media painting 
panel and it originally was studio gray covering of absorbent ground that's had two or three coats and is dried yes and yes and then here's a piece of watercolor paper so we're going to be painting when you, if you read our um newsletter john has been staying up till three in the morning trying to figure out how we're going to get anything filmed and doing anything like that and so he's been a little punchy honestly and so he sent out a newsletter today and saying that we were with a picture of pansies and we're not doing that one. We're going to do a single pansy. I want this to be a simple one cookie lesson. And so we're going to do a beautiful painting, but it isn't going to be that one. And you don't have to do it this big either. And we're not going to trace it on. I'm going to show you how to draw it on, right? So all kinds of stuff. And the first thing we're going to talk about is how to draw a pansy. All right. Gosh, Ginger, that would, that's useful to know, isn't it? Yes and yes. So, uh, of course, I zipped up the other side, but let me unzip this again because I want my drawing pencils out. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. So here's my white chalk uh, somewhere here. Okay. There's at least three coats of absorbent brown. Yeah, three coats. All right. So now if you have questions, put them in all caps. We'll stop and try to answer. We were originally scheduled to do the drawing for the um, for the donations today. We would have done that, except that we barely got this show on. Um, we just ran out of time for everything. So I feel good that we can give you any kind of show. We almost canceled. That's how close it came to chaos here. But hopefully we'll be back on track. Um, will the other Pansy painting go into the Academy? Yes, it will. Yeah. So uh, what I want you to think about is that... Um, I'm just going to draw a rectangle. All right. And I'm going to start with a center. And then I'm going to do a triangle kind of like this. All right. Then from here, I'm going to come up here. Just to put, maybe put a dot here, a dot here. And I'm going to come up here with a circle. Dot here. And then and maybe a dot right here. And I'm going to come up here with a sort of a circle, right? And then we're going to split the difference between these two. And then we're going to take this circle and fill it out like this, kind of, to kind of give it a nice little curve. And that, your friends... That looks like a pansy. ...is your pansy. And then, rather than just have a circle, do something like this, more of a scalloped edge, okay? And the same thing here, do this more of a scalloped edge. Okay, and then same thing here. And um, I've got a little edge maybe that folded over here. It's kind of cute. And then you've got a center. So um, that's kind of, that's that's as simple as it gets, right? And I might even just uh, kind of, if I wanted to do this. And then what I would suggest is Google some pansies on um, uh the compute your computer and kind of look for this sort of butterfly shape all right look for this butterfly shape and i think uh, it's going to make total sense and there you may have for instance where if you had a pansy that was on its side like this maybe it's on its side then maybe you'd have something like this but um at the back of it but those are kind of the shapes we're going for you might have a something that's like this it's not a bud, right? So, again, we're going to try to keep it loose and simple and easy. And the thing to remember is that pansies are tended to be darker in the center, right, like this. And you want them, what we want to try to do is keep these outside edges very translucent, okay? I might even bring this down a little further. I think I'd like to flare this down even a little bit more than I had it there. I even like that better. See what I mean? So, um, and then you're talking about some leaves, just kind of something like that, right? You're just, this is, this is just pretty, pretty easy. Yes and yes. So that's the shape we're going for. You're going, wow. So, well, I mean, I think that helps to know that what you're paying, you know, if you know the pattern, you're in good, you're, you're, you're pretty good. Now, what I've got is this large board and normally... If you were doing this on, say, paper, which you could do, too. You could do this on watercolor paper, absolutely. Um, if you're doing this on paper, you would just naturally leave the white. So what I want to do first is to just take a pencil, and I want to draw in my pansies. 
and I'm going to come over here like this and I think I'll just do um, maybe this light gold because I can see that it's kind of a gold color let's see what that looks like now here's my test paper like that I think that should be good and we'll try a little water with that it's it's a little misleading yeah that's pretty good right there see yeah that'll work for me that works for me I always have a little test so let's just get that out of the way now I want to come down at least four fingers from the top of the canvas and I'm going to say that's the that's got to be the top of this okay and and then I'm going to say here's it and then I want to come in. what happened did we lose the feed well the feed just burped for a second I don't know why I hate it when he does oh oh oh's don't you guys I do I okay. hate it when I do it so I'm, I'm just uh, Oh, please, no more oh ho oh ohs. So okay. those of you that might have got up at 5.30 a.m. to watch the show, we appreciate it. I'm telling you, he's just, I'm telling you, <laughs> just, it's a wonder we got anything done. He, he picked, put the wrong painting in the newsletter. <laughs> just, and when I came to town, I said, what are we doing? He said, where's, where's the one you put in the newsletter? He said, we were supposed to, anyway, it was, it got all kind of a little screwy. So, all right, so I've got this, and then I'm going to say, so, if, so I'll, I'll just, um, there, all right, I'm going to just, this is, the, if you're having a pencil, this was the number, gosh, it is number 1720 brown. If you it has a name to, on it. Where? If you look really close enough. <laughs> well, son of a gun, what a good name for that, because I would have called it Tan if anybody had asked me. <laughs> just, yes, Tan. Brilliant. Some of the names are a little bit longer than that. That's but, probably what threw you. Yeah. Okay. So that's what that's what threw me. All right. So I'm gonna just put tan in here, this here, right? Now, in when you're in acrylics, you normally go from dark to light, but in our case, we're gonna go from light to dark. Does that make sense? We have to because we're gonna follow the watercolor rule. I guess we can take the tan. And I, for instance, I know that along here, now I have a couple of ways I can do this. I can come along here like this and make that, and boy, that does look like a soft brush, like a ruby satin silver, because they're pretty soft and a rag, right? Does that one say it's yellow? See, look here. Oh, see? look at that. It's magic. See, and I'm going to just, um, like that and, and, um, I could, um, Take the. Uh, all right. Well, let's 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 just play a little bit about this too, right? So let's just say for that we wanted to, um, you know, maybe do something like this with our pencils, all right? And then I'll just take some water and do this. That works too. Yes and yes. See, I'm just kind of going around like that. Now this is where you're going to want to do layers. Okay, so let's just do a little bit more of that. Um, I'll just tilt, tilt this to the side. Like I say, John made a very big camera. You can do this much smaller. You don't have to do it this big. But let's just, everybody, well, as long as we're up doing this. Um, well, yes, has anyone tried to varnish intense pencils yet? I did. Ginger did it so she could protect her. Yeah. I did. So that, now look, see how that's giving that beautiful color. Uh, PGA would like to know, I tried to wash Forest Glay but couldn't find it. Well, we forgot to read. Listen, we got, all we did this week <laughs> was try to keep the cavity from crashing. This was a huge thing. Johnny, John saved everything. But this was like the kind of week where you want to throw yourself out a window. It was so intense. Okay. So you, you will find Forest Glade will be released um, soon. Very soon. But couldn't do it right away. These are not watercolor pencils. These are called DeWitt Ink Tents. They're actually in ink. So I'm going to come up here with this one and come out like this. And they become permanent once you... You can actually paint tennis shoes and stuff, right? Uh, you know, like a pair of, say, if you had some cloth tennis shoes, or any great thing, but, you know, you can do that. Now, if you get, if it's too, that's too dark, just pick some up. 
and just have a little bit of water with me and I'm going to just come out here like that. I want to set that a little bit darker right there and I'll just come out like that on that one. Okay, that's all I'm going to do with this. Now, if I want this to be darker here, um, if I, I would dry that, but I would dry that. But one thing that, for instance, um, I know is that I'd like some other colors uh, around here. For instance, like on, on this, I'm going to just make this with this color. We're just going to guess. You like it? it? Looked like a nice color on the end, didn't it? Then I've got the got some water here. In my brush. Ooh, that's pretty. Wouldn't have guessed that color, but that's all right. Need it. Um, you get it. Just do some water and don't get it too intense here, like that. There you go. Okay, there you go. That's kind of pretty. Ooh, so I know I like that. So I might just take this color here and. Um, bring it oh I think I'll bring it over here too and I'll go ahead and get to just outline this leaf a little bit more and just using the side of the pencil I'll just take that like this and there you go just. oh you should see us better on our new time oh hi Mona thank you for staying up with us that is so brave Mona lives in Sweden so when she's staying up she's not kidding um, all right, so I'm just kind of experimenting around here like that. See what I'm doing? And it doesn't, you know, so let's see what I, let's do a combination of some. This is, um, this color is called, I feel like I have to tell you the colors here. This is called Sun Yellow. Oh, that's a good color. Uh, perhaps. <laughs> we don't know. Um, I'm afraid. Let's just. Let's see what let's see what sun yellow does here before I that's a bright yellow right there, right? So we don't now, want that. what was on your brush? Was that a clean brush or a red brush? That was the red brush. I'll rinse the brush off a little <laughs> bit. Okay, so then we're gonna go I'm gonna try some of this um Alright, with me. It's not even sort of a purple, it is. Wants to make it bleed beautifully. That sorbent ground. What you do is you would wet the absorbent ground and then do like a kind of a glaze thing here, right? So all right, so there's that one, and um, let's try some orange on this one. Let's see, what do you do before I get? I can't. I had purple on this, so you got to change colors, but. Uh, make sure you're, you've got a clean brush. So what does that one do? Well, oh, that's kind of interesting. That's called, um, does it seem very yellow to you? So, uh, okay. We'll go for that, right? So uh, you'll notice that um, we'll just uh, come up here like that. Maybe I'll even outline the flower a little bit. Let's see what I've got. It's pretty. Just to, now, I'll just put a little water with it. Now, with absorbent ground, you can put a little water with with on on here and, and spread it. Because right now, I'm just building up layers of color. Okay. That's that's my big plan here is to just build building up layers of our of our of our pansy. Okay. So all right, we're all good here. Let's try. Uh, Come on, this is sort of fun. I have no idea either. I haven't played with these since the last time. Well, a little bit with that stuff, and since in a big way since the last time you and I, you all and I talked. So let's just try some of this right in here. I'm just going to come up here like this. Let's start with some. Where did we put those yellows? That was pretty. Here's a. Let's see. Here's some yellow. Let's let's mix them. Touch, touch, touch. Let's just mix them. All right. So far, so good. Yeah. Now, this brush is pretty clean. Got a little water. Ooh. That's pretty. Now, 
Now I'll get some more water and maybe just kind of bleed this out a little bit. There you go. That's kind of nice. Don't, don't hate that. <laughs> just don't <laughs> hate that. Good. All right, what else we got? I, I kind of want this color up here a little bit. Um, a little more of this color up here. And, you know, it may take a while. I have no idea how long it's going to John got so enthusiastic with this big canvas. So, but here we go. Here's some of this yellow. We'll just bring this up here like that. Like, if you were going to do this on paper, I'd leave, probably leave a little more of this white. But since we're not, let's look down so that they want to sort of melt in. And let's see, where do we put that tan color? That was pretty. Let's come on over here like this and uh, do a little of that tan. These are inks. Good to know um, if you're trying to figure out whether you l like something or not. Like I say, these are inks. And you, like I say, you can layer almost like a dark brown. Let's try a dark brown here. This is um, uh, to do burnt orange. Hmm, interesting. Want this a little darker. And even though this is wet, now look, I can go over it even though it's wet. Now they do make a, a, a pain in a pan, but I think that the thing about the pe pencils is I think you have a little, you have quite a bit of control over where your colors go and what you want to do with them. All right. And um, let's see, I've got that can. I want a brown. Let's try this one. I need something right in here. I'm just going to do this. So, I have to say that um, I'm so appreciative to. Well, see, that did, that's just not. It fishy. looks yellow. It looks yellow to me. What color does the pencil say it is? It says it's um, amber. Well, amber <laughs> could be yellow. <laughs> well, you, I'll tell you what, <laughs> dear friends, you can't go by the cap. you got to go by the name, maybe, huh? Let's try yeah, this. I would go this, more by the name, it sounds like. This, this is Well, brown. it sounds like you should get out your color mixing journal and put it in yeah, there you with should, that. Yeah, you should go back and do that for Calibrate sure, right? Calibrate these things, figure out what they are. Yeah, to do that for sure. I'm going to put a little bit more wide water with a bit here, like that. Yeah, huh? Well, still, that's still interesting because, again, they layer. You can see how they're layering. We've got some good colors because we just, what we're going for is arty. Does that make sense? I say we go for arty. I say arty. I, I don't know who arty is, but let's go for arty. What are you? You are called, don't you think so, Saddle, well, Saddle Brown? Saddle Brown certainly sounds brown. Let's see, do we got any brown right in here? All right, what did we learn from that? That if you don't dry, you'll start lifting color. Yep. You lifted it all. That off. But we, now we know something else, so we learned something else about this. Let's try some saddle brown down here. If nobody's, this isn't wet, and we just, this is absorbent ground, but it's very dry. It's, and so we haven't dampened it or anything. I'll just get a little bit of water here and all right, so that's I would say that that's more brown, wouldn't you guys? And I'm looking for shapes. I, I noticed some of you have done get interesting shapes. Think of clouds, maybe, instead of just randomly um, up and down. Think of you want you want to create some very interesting shapes. All right. And, uh, let's see. Let's just do that like that. I still need more color here. Okay. All right, so there's that. And then what could you do here? Let's just take 
Now, if you do this, you'll lift. Good to know, right? So if you if you did something and you weren't thinking that was the thing you wanted to do, again, I'm going for shapes. Something down here like that. Something that feels free flowing. Okay. So that's kind of nice. I know it's a lot of background, but still, I think those are that's important. So I can't do anything there because it's still wet, but I could maybe do some sort of little free-flowing shape in here, okay? And just, just kind of back and wiggle it, back and forth and wiggle it, some sort of little free-flowing shape. Would Ginger accept ink tense submissions on the personal art coaching? Yes. Kind of has to, seeing how she's been <laughs> using them a lot. All right, so I that all needs to dry. You can appreciate that, yes. So let's work on itself. Now, so what do we know for sure on the flower? I know that I want some sort of red. And these are very vibrant colors. Um, let's see, what does this say it is? This is crimson. Yeah, that's what I want. I'm going to come along here like this. And let's see, can I get a little crimson in here without lifting up the, because I may have to, I'll do a smaller, smaller brush. How did you get the ink and tents? Who, who told you about them? Cinnamon what was the genesis of this C new Cinnamon project? Cinnamon told me about them. There you go. She was buying some and I said, oh, I want some too. That sounds fun. <laughs> what do they do? They dry and then they're really dry and I, that's not the color I want. All right, back in the holder you go. So Sorry. Cinnamon, the art sherpa. Yes, my Got daughter, in case, for those of you who are not aware that that's the case, every, pretty much everybody knows that, but maybe you didn't. All right, so I've got a uh, flower. Now, once these dry... All right, so this is key here. Once these dry, um, then they you can glaze on top of them and they don't move using absorbent ground. So we're saying if this was cool, wouldn't absorbent ground basically be cooler? I don't know if that's such a word, but we're, we're going for that, right? So what I'm doing here is just I'm glad we didn't do, try to do the big one because this is going to take a while anyway. So we're just going to do more of an intense color here in the pansies. Any update on Cinnamon Store projected opening date? Uh, I have not got one, I'm afraid to ask. But it's coming <laughs> soon. How's that? <laughs> coming soon to a computer near you. Yeah, I can't wait too because I have a big add to my up. collection of things. All right now we're waiting. Uh, for let's see so we got that's that's where my red is that's pretty isn't it come on yeah that's very pretty and um, and, and, and I like that so besides that I'm gonna like that so I like this red pencil so um I put the pencils I'm using in a jar so that I don't get confused all right now everything is quite damp here now if you add blue to yellow and the yellow is damp what happens take a second and and for all the right reasons we're going to just dry this real quick okay oh here's some fun go for it all right well i muted her microphone is coming through my headset which it looks like it is so you can't probably hear me maybe if i talk like this i need to be in a different room well, you guys let us know how this is working because we had to do a complete rearrangement of the studio. We apologize for the buffering. And we will look into that after this show. I will be putting up the... Um, I am recording this locally. So we'll be able to put it in the academy without all the interruptions. And let's bring the queen back before I get yelled at. Well, it dried pretty quickly. I'll give it that. Yes? Did it? Is it, is it nice? Yeah, it's just dry. 
Cool. So let's see. Let's get let's get the purples so out. So they could hear me fine. Well, that's interesting. What's that? They could hear me fine when you were doing the hair dryer. Okay. I just muted your hair dryer part. All right. I want to see what that does. What's that one? You appreciate you guys hanging with us during these troubling times. Oh, that's a pretty. Uh, this is called. Um, it looks like a plum. This is called. Wait for it. <laughs> thistle. It's well, what? It does thistle. It does look like a thistle, doesn't it? It does look like you know, a thistle. These these pencils are made in the UK and England, and, and well, they have thistles. There you there. go. They have thistles, so that makes sense. I'm gonna come up here like this and. Uh, Now we're going to start layering in some darker colors. Now, could you do this with acrylic paints? Absolute purple. For those of you who wanted to know about that. Do a combination. Do softer brush. I like to talk to my brushes. What are you doing? Then what I'm doing here is just tapping this out. That's my next layer that of dark. That is really a pretty color. It is pretty, isn't it? And you've got that pretty. It's, it's, it is nice. Now, for instance, if I wanted this darker, I can't get it darker here without drawing. So what could I do? So I've got that. But now, see, this is the thing that um, I could take, like, um, a purple paint to this. Um, when you're looking for these, you got to make sure that you're looking for the intents, because they don't reactivate. Yeah. Watercolor ones will. All right, so here's some dodging purple and a little bit of water. And I'm barely going to touch it here, right? And I want I want some magenta with that. So um, where'd that go? So I mean, you want you to see that there's a lot of ways to do this painting. Okay, so there's permanent maroon, which is more of a. Let's see what do we got here? So then what you want to do is this. Yeah, that's pretty. So I want this down here, like this. So from here, I want this edge to be darker. All right. I'm going to rinse the paint off the brush. I still want a magenta. Let's see, where's the big guns now, aren't you? Oh, somebody criticized one of our tutorials today. You should I'm lucky to have anything out at all, right? I don't even want to hear it, you know? We're just lucky to get it all done. There you go. So that's a that's a magenta color. All right. Now I'm going to rinse the paint off the brush. Now that's what I want to do want. is just tap this in here. But this is sort of, oh, it's kind of a, what a brush should I have here? There you go. All right. Darker. And where it comes to the lighter part of this petal, I'm going to just pick up the paint. Rinse, wipe, swipe. All right, see what I'm doing? I want a little bit of a white. Now, just for fun, okay, so as long as we're doing this, let's just do the one petal so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to dry that, right? Well, you got to be quick on the buttons with this. If she dries that off, now that's become an acrylic base, and she won't be able to do too much more with that. Okay, and then I might come in. See, where's ultra? Where's the ultramarine blue? Ultramarine blue is where. Well, my. I didn't mess with your area. Yeah, well, we had the whole studio torn apart, so everything got put back differently. That'll work for me. Okay. 
Not as well, but somewhat. Now I'm going to, Thalo Blue is like kryptonite. Everybody knows that, right? So here's, I'm going to tap in this color. Because now you're dealing just, not just with the, um, um, the, the ink and pens, your pencils, you're de dealing with absorbent ground. So how does that work? See, so again, I want this. Now look, so, so you can still lift off. So anytime, so you could have these with the pencils if you wanted to. You can do these with the, with the, with, with your paints. But that's a, that's a really pretty, I think that's a really pretty color right there. And, and I wanted it pretty dark in the, in the, in the center here. And why not, right? Now is this dry? Yeah, that's dry. So now, in this case, I'm going to take just a tiny bit of this water and acrylic paint. And I want to show you what happens if you, you stain absorbent ground just with water and your acrylic paints. Okay. And you just hardly have, have, have any paint on the brush and just bring it in here like that. All right, and there's this pansy like that. Okay, you with me? So when you're asking yourself, how would I do this? Um, and then I might want something very dark here, coming out this way. Hey, we'd like to thank Jules for the donation that came in. Heart hugs, you make such a difference in the world. Just think how healthier people's minds can be by following and taking advantage of your art, your gift of art. It's a brain changing. It's appreciate it. And really your kind words too, that makes a difference. John and I, sometimes when we have a week like we've had, we just feel like crying when <laughs> things go like that, but... Um, um, I, I appreciate the fact that we have uh, good to have something going so we could keep keep filming. Now look, see how I'm playing with this? Now I want something lighter between here and here and this is where acrylic paint just wins. Oh, right? oh, here we go. Now, well, I've been wait. using acrylic paint all along. What are you talking about, OO? I don't even want to hear OO from you. There's no OO. <laughs> you just shut up over there. There's no OO. No, this is an OO. Okay. <laughs> when, look, I want this a bit lighter here so I can take a little bit of white paint like that. and t t t t See, and then pull it this way. Like that. See? Come into there. And look how I can play with that. Um, look at that. So we have so many options on how to do some neat looking flowers, yes and yes. I would say the main thing is, and I think I want a little bit of this blue over here too, but I'm not sure where. Why you have it, might as well. Yeah, and so uh, I would say that one thing you want to be careful of is that you're always using a clean brush. Because like here's some Dosney purple, and I want this darker here. And I'll just bring that out too, like that. See, look at that. And you're going, yeah, I don't know, Ginger. It's sort of, well, maybe you can see it. I don't know. Hope you can see it. Because it's, uh, getting something like this in acrylics is tricky um, without something like absorbent ground. But as we showed you last week, you can also do that without. Now, this is a color called Australian Sienna. You could use Azo Gold, too. And, because um, that's a, by Golden, and that's a transparent yellow. So, you can't have a dirty brush and use this. So make sure that your, your brush is clean. And let's try a little bit of that. So, I want to take this pansy here that I did the pencils with. And I want to... And brush direction is everything. Yes. Yes and yes. Okay. So, I know that some people think, oh, I didn't get any of these you're not stuck you just lots of different ways to do things and remember you can build up the layers um you know that's a little purple right there on that edge 
can just fill those up if you need to. Um, that's really pretty here. This is a little bit of magenta. I want to come from here, the center part, and uh, take a little magenta, and uh, like that. Now what I'm going to do is just take the brush and pull it out like this. There you go. See that? I'm just going to pull out the pull and lift, pull and lift. Take a little turn purple, pull and lift. This is actually a fur brush. This is perfect to do that with, by the way. Well, I guess it's a stiff blender, but it's a little bit of a fur brush, too, I think. So then we got, because now you've got this beautiful sort of translucent color here, right? Okay, yes and yes. And uh, then I might take some of this purple right up here in the center while it can still bleed. In other words, you can still wick into the other colors. Hey, we'd like to thank Sharon for the donation that came in through the PayPal system. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Thank you, thank you. And um, I'm going to put a little of this darker purple right here, too. And um, maybe darken this up a bit. All right, so you see, how we're, you see how we're layering these flowers? Okay. So now that I've dried this, if I take some, say, burnt, um, probably burnt sienna, that's the color I would suggest it earlier. And uh, you hear me rattling there. around in the, the the box here, burnt sienna. That was in a big tube. Where did that go? Here it is. All right, so burnt sienna is one of those. There are certain colors in acrylics that are translucent and opaque. Opaque being tight, like a door you can't see through it. Translucent colors, um, a lot of them are very, a lot of, of our paints are very translucent which is important. So we're going to take a little bit of the, uh, the um, burnt sienna. Okay, and I'm going to come under here like this. And that way I can define this, um, um, this flower because I made it. Remember that, that old rule, wherever there's a dark, there's a light. I'm going to rinse the brush off. And I'm just going to keep bringing this color out. Now this is what absorbent ground will not fill up for a while. Okay, what I mean, you know, basically plastic. So um, at some point, your absorbent ground will fill out, and then that will be it. And you have, let's see, what did I do with that? Oh, here, water bottle. So if I take it and I spray it, I can get it to wick even more like this. And I. And I may just add another color like this and just tap this in here too. Again, I want this all to be wicking. Let's see, let's take a little white paint. Now let me show you how that changes. Just So you've got control here. You've got the power to create all kinds of effects between your acrylics and regular paint. So let's see, where's a little bit of a Kleenex? See? So, just, I would say the fun thing about something like this, and see, we need some raw, raw umber is another one of your uh, happy translucent colors, raw umber. Did you know that? So let's um, open up this tube of paint here. There we go. Here's some raw umber. Put that out. Now, I want some raw umber, and I'm going to just going to wet that brush a little bit, make that more of a, it's sort of clay-based, so if you want it to be translucent, what I might do is just wick for it a little bit. Now, that's the other thing, is to just wet it, and then what happens is that when you do that, you can get a kind of a bleeding effect. See, probably the wrong brush for that. We need a bigger... We got something softer. Hold the brush flat, kind of wiggle it around. Okay. I could put some. Uh, what do we want? I know. 
Um, let's put some of this. Um, um, ooh, that's pretty. That's the uh, raw sienna. Let's see how that. Ooh, isn't that neat? Where else could I put that? That's what you got to ask yourself when you do stuff like that. Where else could I? Like this, it could be in intimidating. I don't want to feel intimidated. Um, let's do something like this. We're going to hold it up, and uh, let's get the pencils in the. Let's get the pencils out of the way. We're using all these. We'll put those in the jar. Let's pull the. Let's put some Kleenex down here, like that. Now I'm going to just take the. Gonna start so you know one thing that works on these um, water bottles if they're full of water mm -hmm. just saying right not, not to put too fine a point on it Seems but so if like you don't if you don't have water in them now look at that it's look at that well, that's the wrong that's the cap to the water bottle. Here's the, tell you what, we are so discombobulated this week that it's amazing we're doing anything. Now watch, are you ready? Now. I'm just going to stay in one place and just get it dripping. There we go. Now, I, I think I want some drips coming up here. So let's do... Now, the thing about absorbent ground, you know how we tell you that acrylics dry darker? Yes. The thing about absorbent ground is that it dries lighter. Whatever you did, it'll dry lighter. Just like watercolors do. Yeah, they, they, you know, when you do absorbent ground, it dries lighter. Put there. And I don't want to lose my drips, so let's just do something like that. There, that's pretty. Okay, I'm going to dry that so that we can seal all that. Everybody good with that? And, and, all right, John? Go for it. All right, as she's busy drying that, we'd like to say a special thank you to Miss Tent for her donation that came in through the PayPal system. I greatly appreciated. Thank you, Ginger and John, for my happy Monday. Maybe this will help a bit. It does indeed. It's been a rough, <laughs> a rough week since we got back. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you so very much. And thank you for monitoring our website and keeping us on the uh, straight and arrow on things that we may forget from time to time, which it seems like we often do. So I appreciate that. And speaking of that, if you find issues on the website, please use the contact us and do let us know so we can address them and fix them. We have a couple people that are constantly monitoring our stuff, um, what's going on, on the website, and we appreciate that, and they let us know about it pretty darn quickly and makes it nice. When we're juggling so many balls in the air, sometimes we drop a couple. Hey, we'd also like to thank Cheryl for the donation that came through PayPal. Thank you very much, Miss Cheryl. Yeah. You're doing a marvelous job, my queenness. And then I want something a little darker in here. So we're going to go for the um, the gusto and just, uh, just keep in mind that you're working from light to dark. So don't get in a hurry to get these dark colors. Yes and yes? Said that. Yeah, like, like in here like this. And the contrast is all, right? So let's see, could we get that to drip a little bit, maybe? Just a bit now, Not, nothing too scary. I just did the edges. Yes. Ooh, yes, and so then we, I'm sorry. We're gonna go on and, and dry this. Um, 
Well, maybe we can. We dried that. Let's just let that sit. Let's let's play with the flowers. We got time for that. So let's play with the flowers. Now, yeah. what I want in here is I want. Uh, where's my cadmium orange? Um, uh, now she's bringing out the big guns. This is whole binds. Isn't a whole binds academy and orange? Yeah, I've got cadmium red. I really want cadmium. It's, it's always it's nice to want things. Here, <laughs> here's here's cadmium red light. That's kind of an almost orange. All right, so there's that. So I'm going to take that. And um, and anything I'm doing now could be done. See what I'm doing there, like this. Okay, on that flower. And then I'll take a look the um, Australian Sienna now. And a little bit of magenta. Let's get something a little bit darker using like a little angle brush. Let's do, get something a little bit darker here. Where's that red? I want something redder right here. All right. So that's that's nice. I like that. Uh, rinsing this. Um, um, let's see. Now what? Oh yeah, what we want to do next. So. I want over here, I want a little fun, um, as opposed to an unfun. I don't know what do you mean, fun or unfun. Let's see, where did upside down right here, like this? I want something right there, like that. I'm going to just color it in. So then the question gets, well, when do you use acrylic paint and when you have to decide what the effect you're going for? And um, look, at, look at how that worked. And I'm following the brush direction going up like that, right? This is a watercolor brush. So I want to make sure I'm always going up with this like that. And I mean, that's kind of cute, right? Then I could take a little dodgy purple here, which is for the acrylic paint, and just come up here. Say, so here's the. There, see? So it's, you know, the, the question is, is there a right or wrong? I don't know. Um, I think what you're going for is your um, art, artistic experience. Does that make sense? You know, what, what makes sense to you? Um, here's a. Here's some Australian sienna. All right, let's just say I wanted another flower right here. Well, I could paint that in just like that. Yeah, because this is absorbent ground. And I could paint another one over here. And let's see, if I put any white with that, what would I get? So here, I can do a... There's that flower. And I've got that effect. So maybe I want to come over here and do... Let's see, let's do a little bit of magenta on this side. Could I use the pencils? Yes. And then up here, I want to put... Um, um, I want to say I've got a flower up here that we're going to, we're going to draw this in like this. Okay. I'm going to say that that's, um, um, that's that pencil. And, uh, we're going to, we're going to, do this. Where'd that yellow one go that we thought was too yellow here?
Now, the more you press down, the, the more intense the color is going to be. You know that, right? Or maybe you don't know that. So I'll just explain. So it's a little bit like you know your old-fashioned coloring book, when, you know. And um, and don't worry about going outside the lines. I think that's okay. I think you've got to be willing to do well, that. Well, unless you're a sock folder, then it drive you nuts. Well, try not to dry yourself nuts. See how <laughs> I combined these two reds and the yellow, the gold? It's a pretty color. See? See, I did that and then just brought that over here like that. So you can layer them. Yeah. And uh, But then again, here's some... Um, a little darker than I want. Here's a little bit of white and a uh, yellow. Um, uh, Australian Sienna. Okay. For that flower. And then I can take it here and I'm not back in the acrylics. I can take this and do something darker in here like that. Don't overdo it. If you haven't got these angle brushes, these Bristol on angle brushes, they are the best. I have one of my students, she said, well, she just buys some cheap brush. She didn't think it mattered. If you can't afford anything else, you can, you, you can get away with some really crummy paint, but you really want good brushes. Or you'll, you, it, it shows. Now, see how we did the inside of that flower? Yeah, and you're going, that's cool. Yeah, it is, right? Where did I put that? I still want that bright orange. What else do I got? For those of you that are just coming in a little bit lean, so to speak, is a Golden's Absorbent Ground. Three three to four coats of that on there. It acts like a watercolor paper then. Yeah. See how see how we're painting this? And and you we're just taking our time. Um, taking our time and we wanna thank the cinnamon and John Cooney, my daughter and son in law, for uh, loaning us the paint equipment. After we had our um, a rough start to the week. Rough start to the week. Okay, so what do I what do I know for sure? All right, I know this for sure, and I know that this is going to come up here like that on this pe pencil, and then I might come out here. Remember, I told you, you might want these angle brush because of because of what you could do, right? And then oh, I remember what I, I coming back to me now. <laughs> Here's some orange. And that's pretty. I like that color. See, with acrylics, you can go back and, you know, thinking, well, I, I like this, but I wish I had some orange or some red or something. I had those colors. Or I wish I had some white. Now, the next one, I think this is dry enough. I'm going to take the pencils again. Uh, let's get some blue out. Let's, should we test it? Just because this is called... Uh, oh God, iris blue. <laughs> well, that looks like it's irisy, doesn't it? That kind of, yeah, iris. Ir well, haven't seen a wet. Not yet. Irish, Irish, right? Let me see a wet. Yeah, let's see it wet. The thing about <laughs> the ink shift. The thing about the ink tense pencils that oh my gosh, look That's at that. That's a great color. So what I want is that color. Maybe I thought I did. Here, let's take a little bit of that color because I like it. All right. This is on a 12 by 16 Pro Tone canvas board. We are on a canvas board that we put absorbent ground onto. Okay, now because the yellow is turning green green on us. If you're using watercolor paper, you wouldn't. You, wouldn't. you could just do this on paper. All right, so then the question comes up, friends. Why would you want absorbent ground? Why would you do it on canvas? Because canvas is frameable. Watercolor, watercolor paper has to be behind glass. It's expensive to frame. And you're limited on size. You could do a 48 by 60 painting like this, which you could, that would have that watercolor effect. And you, could, there's, you just can't do it otherwise. Proton boards are purchased, purchased at Jerry's, Jerry's Artorama. They're the ones that made these, and they're really nice. I have to say, I, I'm very impressed with their... They're just using a masonite instead of the cardboard. Yeah, and then, well, but then they, they, they do some coats of gesso. They have the special canvas they put on. They are, yeah, it's, they it's are nice really, really nice boards. And uh, let's just take a little bit of the purple right here on this edge. 
<gasps> That's so pretty. Yes and yes. Now remember, we have an auction going on right now. It's going to be ending on Wednesday, and maybe Ginger will take a break in the action and show some of the items. Absolutely. I will do that, John. When you hit a point. Yeah, because right now I'm just... Um, You're having fun. Well, Don't want to interrupt it is, you. I'll tell you what, this is very creative. You know what I mean? I do know this what you mean. This is very creative. At least in my opinion. I still think you need an ultramarine blue, though. You want that deeper blue. The, the difference between ultramarine blue and phthalo blue is ultramarine blue is a red blue. Okay, see the difference? You definitely have to dry the absorbent ground between coats. Blue and, um, all right. So now we've got a really, really nice looking uh, pansy, okay? All right. Now, yeah, huh? And I think I want a little bit of some cad bread. Do I have cad bread? Yeah, here. Is that cad bread? Yeah. I want a little bit deeper red on this flower here. And maybe on this side right there. Remember, you can layer these. Okay. Then it gets better. Oh my, there's a then. Don't you love it when there's a then? There's always a then. Because it then, then, back with the white paint. This is, uh, you can't do this in watercolor. And come back and. <gasps> you don't want to do that. <laughs> Not to panic anybody, but you don't want to do that. See, we didn't have to save that out or anything because we're. Okay, and maybe we want a little bit of white here. You can put the white back. Oh my gosh, seriously, you can put the white back? Oh, you can. Quite cool, yeah. Now. I want to take the dark brown paint or um, uh, magenta and I want to just come in here like that and do my next coat of dark. Bring this out here like that. See, then just pull that down. There you go. They want something a little dark right there. The end of that. All right. Now, while that's drying, I was going to show you some. The for those of you who don't know, about four times a year, three times a year, we try to do an auction. This will be, we may have yeah. one more this year. No, I'm not banking on it though. We don't know. We went one more this year. We don't know, but. Um, one of the things that we do is that we did from our tutorials, like for instance, this uh, Degas um, tutorial, this was a very popular um, tutorial, particularly uh, it's good about painting people. It's also good, wonderful colors, very different pieces. Um, Taz, this is a great study in, um, in sort of loose painting. And this Taz was done originally, and this was the, the, sort of the warm-up to see how I was going to paint it. And I like to do those kind of things um, f fast. And then our bulldog, uh, if you remember during COVID, we did paintings every day for about six, 60 days, a little longer than that. And he was one of the, the paintings that we did. It's called the Canadian Bulldog. Put Canada in the title, it gets a better search. So we just decided to call him our Canadian Bulldog. And he's just, if you zoom in on that, John, look at the colors in this in this painting. It is just phenomenal, the colors that are in this. It's and uh, all these paintings puppy. come with certificate of authenticity, and they also, uh, we fi final coats will be varnished. Now, this, this size right here is... Uh, looks like 8x10. Uh, is it? Looks like it. Yeah, I think so, 8x10. No, is it? Are you sure? 
No. <laughs> I can't remember. You have a ruler, don't you? I have one. If I can see it's all right. This is um. No, yeah, this nine, is nine by twelve. Yeah, see, this is. I didn't think you were right, but you like to be. Ooh, I was wrong. That kind of weak. You know I'd be wrong. Yeah, he's had that kind of week, right? So what's the eight by ten? Nine by twelve. These are nice size paintings, and they're all nine by twelve and like that. And then, my tomatoes. Um, was was Academy painting still life? The tomatoes in a paper bag. Great. There will be a whole generation of people growing up that don't know what a paper bag is. Really? So, so you think about that? They won't know. And then. Uh, I would give a close-up on our goldfish to see to see the colors and the shimmer in this underwater. This was a, uh, I can't remember, was this a YouTube or a... Um, it was a painting we did. Mm -hmm. We can't remember. <laughs> Might have been YouTube. But the girls I'm not going to say Judy that would be wrong. Judy, came from. Judy remembers all. It says in the, it's on gingercookauction.com, it says whether it was a county tutorial or YouTube, but nonetheless, ginger, you know. It's I, one of them. At this right head, red hot second, this year, Cinnamon invited me uh, to go up to uh, Pennsylvania and do this uh, week workshop with her. And I had half the students in the morning, and then she had the other half, and then we switched. And we did two different paintings. This was um, a one of our old DG um, artists, uh, and we have uh, the, the companion piece to this in the Academy, which is li it's lilacs, but this is a glass. We taught everybody how to do this glass they, and this uh, painting is also in our auction. Now, and we are have another workshop this August, August 14th, 15th, it 14th starts. and 15th, and, and still, there's still some space. What we're going to be doing is a little bit different. We're going to be uh, giving away the painting I do, and during the, uh, someone will win the painting I'm doing at the, during the auction. If we do two, we win, win two. Uh, not only that, but you will be able to have kind of personal one-on-one -on -one counseling with me if you want to. Um, uh, ask me about your artwork or show me pictures. We'll try to make some time where we all we all eat dinner together on um, and breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We Jen Cinnamon and I and John and her husband. They also named John. Chance to visit with everybody. Great, great fun. And uh, read more about that. And uh, so th th this one is this is a square. And <laughs> what I want to make make clear about, about this. A lot of times people don't know what a great painting this is. And I just How want you to. How could you not know it's a great painting? Look at look it. At, look at this. It's wolfy. This is this is wolf. And if you if you want to, it's a, there's nothing like seeing the layers when you're trying to learn how to do your own fur and see that and see how the, we got the lights in the eyes. When this is varnished, wow, you guys, this is a fabulous, fabulous wolf. And, uh, I was really even reluctant to put it in the auction, but I think this. Um, uh, anyway, that's we hope maybe it's your good home. I want you to see how big this dessert piece is. It doesn't really show in the auction site how big these are. This is a 12-inch square on the dessert. Again, this is a wonderful tutorial in the Academy on glazing. And if John were to zoom in on that, you see how the you've got these transparent-looking um, uh, red strawberry... Uh, gooey stuff. Gooey stuff that's dripping down over that and, and the, uh, the reflections in the spoon. Neat picture. And just a few. So thanks for being patient, letting us show and tell. Go to the. Uh, there's more. There's all the mystery pieces. Got to see if you're wondering what the mystery pieces are. You read the description. Maybe you can guess them. Those are like th that was a, a sort of studio cleaning time for us. There's a wave water masterclass painting. A couple of those in Bruges. Wonderful pictures. All right. So Wonderful now paintings. Paintings. Yeah. And they all come certificate of authenticity. See, this has all had a chance to try. You're going, wow. I hope you're doing that. Okay, so now what I want is the, the bright, bright orange center right here. And I'm just going to use some acrylic paint right like that. And there's my bright orange center. And you're going, Oops. okay. So now that, now that this has had a chance to dry, uh, we want, remember when I said wherever there's a light, there's a dark. So what I want to do is take the... The acrylic dazzling purple, and come next to this um, this petal right here, and I'm going to put that now. See how that one now stands out, right? Put a little water on the brush so that it has a little bit of float. Remember, when you're doing lines like this, pull and lift up, pull and lift up. Pull and lift up. 
Airplane taking off. Yeah, just like an airplane taking off. Pull and lift up. Ah. Ooh. Yeah. Ah. Sounds like the dentist. Ah. <laughs> ah. Say ah for it. We're just going to make this even more like that. So now you've got some good contrast with with the painting, right? Yes and yes. So then you th so then you ask you know you know if you wanted to you know what to do next. The nice thing about doing this with acrylics is um, and these pens is that because you can do combinations, yeah. Like for instance, what color are you? This is uh, tan. What are you saying? Gosh, I have to put my glasses on to even tell you. Willow. All right. I need a little bit darker outline around the flower. Okay. So I can just take um, um, these are these little brushes you can buy, and they they uh, you can put water inside. But I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of water just on the tip, and come around here and just do my tip. Someone says, "Can you do a thin line?" You betcha. You can draw with these like this. It's that line there, and um, Where'd this one go? Let's do, let's do this too. Let's just put a little dark line right here. And I'll just take the, this little brush right like that. It's a little bit damp. And just come over the outside. So it, it, it's a little bit of patience to do. But uh, conversely, it's kind of cool too, right? And then you can take like something 15. like this. You can take like, for instance, suppose you wanted something that came out like this didn't have one of those nifty brushes and you can just do do that see can do, boop, boop. so can you do combinations of stuff yeah so now what I want to do is now remember because the ink will dry in this you make sure that this is clean this brush is clean all right so let's put those over here now we're gonna have some stems coming down here like this and they would be probably best done with just with acrylic paint um, let's see, what do we got for that? This one. Where is the Bristol one? Uh, Bristol one. Bristol one. Here. Yeah. Yeah, angle brush. So I'm going to take some, some um, Australian sand and thalo blue, and I'm going to make this nice sort of green color, and I'll add some more of the... Um, Australian Sienna, and I want to come up here like this and uh, do that. Maybe I'll add a little bit of white to that, kind of lighten that up. Okay. Now I'm just into white paint. could also use a Posca pen if, you, if you're having trouble doing thin lines. Some of these, you know, well, I wonder if this is cheating. People use stoves now. At one time in the world, they, um, they um, cooked they over campfires. Cook over, cook over an open fire. And uh, Cinnamon and I were in France some years ago, and it was quite a hard, it was quite a wait to get in the, to, to eat there very popular with the locals and um, what they did was they um, put up they've had a big cast iron skillet which they packed about three inches of salt in their rock salt on it then they put this fish and then they covered it with another three inches of salt and put him in the fireplace for a while and then they cooked the the, you know, the fish was all cooked, and then they served us. Quite nice, quite nice, and it was sort of interesting because, um, uh, you, you know, you could probably, you, you know, you could do that anywhere. You wouldn't have to have a, anything. 
Now I'm just going to do this for the, um, the leaf right there. And that's a little bit dark, so I'm going to just take some. Again, you've, you've got a multiple, you've got multiple effects here that you can do with acrylics that you can't get any other way. And let's see, I need a little bit of yellow. So, so how much of this you do with the ink tense pencils and how much would you do with the acrylic paints just depends on, um, uh, where's it? Yellow makes sort of an olive green. That's what I want, sort of a little bit of brown with that. Okay. A little bit of there. There we go. So you can see that I've got the more of an olive green color. And I want to come in here, under here like this. And I'm going to curve around here like that. And um, I said enough water on the brush. This does eat up a lot of, this does still soak up some water. <laughs> so why it's called because absorbent that's, that's, ground? That's why it's absorbent ground, yes. <laughs> that's true, John. That's why. It... <laughs> Those crazy people. Well, it's always nice to be informed, right? Hey, we'd like to thank Elizabeth for the donation that came in, and your wish is our command on your response, your special request. Oh, uh, look and at we'll that. We'll take care of that. So I'm going to just put this, okay, like that. So I've got this nice big. Um, and then into the browns here a little bit. I want something a little darker green. Remember, so it's going to dry a little bit. See what I'm doing there? Then I might pull one down this way. Make sure I have enough water on the brush for this to to layer in here like that. Well, you wouldn't think so, would you? That that you could get this kind of interesting effect. And these are all angle brushes. If you don't have an angle brush, you're just making life difficult. <laughs> and it, the, 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 you know. And especially the bristle on, which are a little bit stiffer now than the. Yeah, I Ruby started bar. with ruby satin silvers, and then they came out with the bristol on, and I like that so much better. Well, it seems like the ruby's got a little softer as time went on there. Yeah, it it seems like it did too, right? And uh, at the, you know the thing about um, when you make things, you're at the mercy of whoever's making them. If your factory isn't right there where you can, you know, keep an eye on it, you know, if you don't have someone, Cinnamon's uh, husband at one time. Uh, actually lived um, abroad and, and, and had his own business and factory and everything. It was way white and just changed everything, see? Get with them, um, with this. And I, I would like to have this right here be rounder. Now look, how do you do that? Now watch. Let me put some more white paint out because I used it up. I didn't like that petal right there, okay? So now look what I can do. I can reshape it. Yeah, I can. And still make it work. Ha! Come on, you guys. All right. So I can do some of that. And maybe I want to come over here and um, add a little more color somewhere in here like that just um do something like that and let's see what else could i do um i think we're we're not bad but i'd like to have contrast so i might just pull some of this down like this that and so I'm, I'm what I'm doing is you're saying well what, what exactly are you what's the intent here the intent is to break up the shape shape uh, 
Now this is my second coat of white on this right here like that. Um, um, we would like to thank Julie for the donation that came in through PayPal as well. Oh, thank yeah. You, thank you very much. We need another little purple flower somewhere. Don't you think so? Maybe up here for balance. And these little purple ones. Yeah, we could put it in with the pencils, but right? Let's let's just put it in. Where do we want You're it? You're just going for it. Right? I just, I'm thinking, where do I, where do I want it? <laughs> I don't know. Why do we just want to know? I don't know. No, I lied. I don't want to put it in. See, that's what you got to ask yourself. What can I take away? Not ruin the effect. What I can do, can do is um, um, put, um, you know, I know I want something darker right in here because remember, I think dark down here at the balance, down here to balance the um, the weight of the painting up there, right? And I think I need, need something darker in the browns. Kind of going through more brushes, but that's all right. Don't don't worry. I've got it. Now, let's see. Let's in crimson. Let's. I think I want something in down, down in here like that. I want something down that. at the bottom that's darker. But now. Sponge and been good too. Could do a good sponge thing here, right? Let's You've never used the sponge. It's a sponge with the intense, right? But I know, for instance, I just want to kind of do, do a little bit something more weighty in this corner. See? All right, and then maybe up and over here with the with the red. Let's get. Let's put a little bit of, um, let's see, let's just, let's get to be arty, yeah? So spraying a spritzer makes you arty. Well, just trying different things is what okay. makes you arty, John. <laughs> I'm so glad I cleaned off the black thingy today. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so that makes me arty, and I like that here. And you know, maybe that was more than I wanted. And I raised something. I want to do that. So um, do this. There we go. I like that, and I want. For balance, I want something up here. Of course you do. Because we've got a lot of white here. And a lot of white here. That's kind of cool. Let's see where's some white here. Let's see, get rid of the Kleenex. Bad plan, but the Kleenex should have done um, what? Sponge. Absolutely no reason to do that when you have a sponge. None. We used to have sponges. Yes? You had them the other day. No, I didn't have them the other day. Oh, you did. When did I have them the other day? Oh, what the other day? day you used what them. other day? The oh, other here's day. a day. You got one? Here's one. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I, I, I you know, okay. just had to make me stand up. No, all right, so I want to break this up a little bit, right, because it's kind of heavy down here. So I'm going to take some white paint like this and just see how I broke that up a little bit there. So be willing to experiment. To do some, you know, if you have to, be willing to do that because that's, that's, that I wanted to break up a little bit and I think I could have now that I see that right now that I see that I could do um,
Yeah, huh? So are we um, we're pretty happy with about, I think I'm pretty happy with the painting. Um, I, I want a dark outline on that pansy, right? Yeah, you have before and then I, I put it back and I want this shape here now this shape here around this guy comes it kind of hugs him like that and then comes up like that yeah and then curves out there we go that's too nice huh Ooh, ah. yeah hmm and so do you have the frame for this john i do do you think you're done i don't know just playing with a little bit of lights here yeah, dark never going to be on this one this is going to be one of those when you can come back to day after day and say oh i'm going to do this to it now well i don't really want to do that but i but i do want to make sure that i'm not i've got a bunch of white paint here that i didn't want so now we'll clean that up all right, and I, I still want that toothbrush effect, but I'm going to do that too. So what you do with that is we're going to just do a towel kind of like this, so we're going to sort of protect our pansy. And, um, and what color do we want? Maybe blue. I never did it in my watercolors. I just, being Why a sock holder, it? I just never did it. I know, just probably too much, isn't it? But <laughs> I work so hard to keep it nice, clean, and neat. Yeah, but someone's trying to break that up. You did what? We have a nice white canvas, and I'm just breaking oh, I guess that up. So. I'm breaking that up a bit, yes. Yeah. And I guess then, that kind of makes sense. I guess I never have that much white canvas. And so, again, we can come back here with some white even and break it up here so that we break up the shapes like that. Do you varnish over this kind of painting? Yes. Absolutely. You'd varnish you over this. You got to. <laughs> got to seal this baby. I feel like this is sort of cute, but I almost want something hanging down from here. What do you guys think? <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> no, because I did it, right? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even get to vote. No, you didn't. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's do... John, would you brush or spay varnish? I would probably spray it first with a thin layer, and then I'll put a varnish Yeah, the over reason it. you, in case you didn't get all the pencils yeah. lined up right, okay? In case everything didn't get watered to activate it. Yeah, you might want to, you know, consider. I'll hit it with a spray. Just I used a Krylon. I think it's a Krylon. I have golden. I have a couple different ones. I don't like to spray though. It's stinky. The weather's got to be right and blah blah blah. Yeah, that, to me that's sort of happy. That to is you. a very happy pan. It's just it's it's smiling. So uh, John's finding the frame real quick oh, for you. I want to show yeah. you some stuff. Right, John, <laughs> yeah. I've got to clean Why all I'm this up. Why I'm doing that? Meanwhile, back at the ranch, when John's finding the frame, I wanted to show you that in the academy we were supposed to release. Um, this painting of the, um, did you back out before I show it? No. Here, let me go back to the other side of the studio. <laughs> John's going to back, he's got to back out to see this. This is a 20 by 20, a uh, step-by-step acrylic and a uh, hidden, hidden glade or something. That will be, it was meant to be released, forest glade. forest glade. It was meant to be released this week. And again, we just have been fighting the computer and everything. So thanks. Our, we appreciate all the help you guys gave us tonight. Those of you who chipped in, helps out. We appreciate it. And this will be released, like, maybe tomorrow even. The Academy members expect that. And then I'm excited. I don't think you've seen this one. Which one? Uh, uh, this one of the, this is a new new release coming up in the Academy. Um, this is a gal. Here's our, our porch. And she's, see, just looking out over the bayou 
and we think that's kind of neat when that's that's coming up for our red yeah purple members only and then if you remember last week on or a couple weeks ago on youtube we did this one and this will be released soon in the academy to go with it this is a more complicated van gogh style so many different ways picasso. that sorry picasso I tell you it's been a rough week you know I went to phys I went to physical therapy and did a bunch of exercises that hurt, and then um, I'm telling you what after th after it's a wonder I can make any kind of coherent conversation, but John's John's releasing the um, I'm releasing. he's he's not releasing he's going to give me the frame so I can show you stuff out of the way so you can see it. So what did, while he's showing that what did we learn from this? Well, what we learned is that. Um, uh, you could combine the ink tense pencils with acrylics. If you didn't have them, you could still make them go. Salvador paints go very well with these, particularly with them. And they, they, the brush set that comes with the Salvador brushes are very soft and nice to use. Yes? And yes? Okay, well, still, they do work, though. And um, here, let's do this like that. You ready? Okay? Yes, this, this is, has to be... Um, here, John, it's a major production. To do this, like there. And I want you to, so that you could see how nice these were. If you had a, just a series of these, these, um, you know, look at that. Don't, don't you think those are kind of cool? Well, no, they have to back up. They can't get the full. You, you don't get a full. Well, he's going to give you the full effect. What you, I like the full effect. Yes, yes, the full effect, John. We we think that's good. <laughs> just do the full effect. Yes and yes, full effect. There is a museum. Isn't that nice? I mean, and you saw how we did it. We had a combination. You could do, you could just use the absorbent ground, which I'll show you guys again. Golden absorbent of ground. Follow the instructions on that on their website. Um, you could do this on a piece of paper, for watercolor paper, for sure. Absorbent you would not ground. use the absorbent ground if you did that. But the advantage is that it takes a canvas. Absorbent ground turns canvas into the in, into the acrylic paints, which are water-based, and your ink tens pencils, which are water-based, will then give you a, a permanent um, uh, a, a per, per, permanent painting. And when and this will all varnish over, and um, which is kind of cool. And then remember, you can then go back and um, take your Posca pens. And um, for instance, if you need like a little, maybe you need a little white outline on this somewhere. Not the whole thing, but you just maybe you need a little bit of little bit of white paint there, and and you didn't and you didn't have the, um, you know maybe your skills with the brush are are challenged a little more here. So let's just shake that up here like that. See. Well, I think it would have to dry first for this to ride on it, but there you go. See what I mean? You can do something like this. Um, okay. Did you? So many wonderful options. That's why she did leave that way, so she had a place to sign it. Yeah, so I wanted to sign that for you. You want wonderful options. And if you think this was fun, wait till you see what's coming up this summer. You guys ready for this? We just I know some of you left, but those of you hanging in there, wait till you see. Um, and it's going to be a t-shirt, too. Captain Cook. What is it? Captain? Yeah, Captain Cook, man. You know, isn't that fun? Here he is. Captain so, Cook. Captain There's Cook. names to him, though. So, and the reason we do paintings, and we do so many different kinds of paintings, is that some of you maybe treasure this on their wall. I certainly would. And um, yeah, with John, John for sure. It's just, you know, this is part of our permanent collection now. And it will also make this into t-shirts. So look for the t-shirts coming soon. The tutorial will be released later than a few, you know, a month or two. It's a, But we wanted to share some of the things we're doing because um, we're always excited to share new things with you. Uh, that we uh, accomplished what we wanted to have. You now know how to... Um, to uh, paint a pansy 
and you'll learn how to do some of this watercolor effect in the background, how to use a sponge, how to use a brush, how to use a, your toothbrush, how to use the pencils, how to combine them. Holy moly. Ground. There was a lot in here today. So I just uh, I'm very interested in, um, in how much feedback. you, if you enjoyed this uh, and uh, your feedback is, means a lot to us. And I hope you will share this video. If you like this, share it with others. Thank you so much. And be sure to give us a like. And that's all we can do. I can't do a fancy closing or anything. We're just going to fade to black. I have a button for that. Yeah. And don't forget, gingercookauctions.com, closing Wednesday. Are you done? Yeah, just, just. Don't you love Posca pens? <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Thanks again for the donations <laughs> that came in. And we will um, see you next week. We may do a test sometime. But they're probably just going to be me just trying to figure out what's going on with the buffering.